Hey folks, Sean McInnes here alongside none other than Kurt Schilling from 38 Studios who's here to talk about his new game, Reckoning. Kurt, uh, before we get into the details of the game, can you start us off by explaining Reckoning to anybody out there who might not be familiar with the project? So uh, Reckoning is a game set in the uh, what's called the Age of Arcana in the Amalur timeline, um, and it is a an open world, uh, in your face combat uh, single player RPG. And, and I continue to say, as a 30 year gamer, it's the first game of its kind. So uh, Reckoning is obviously a, a fantasy role playing, very action oriented. What is it about the fantasy role playing genre, as opposed to all the different types of settings and genres that exist in video games, that made you decide? That's the type of game that I want to do. Oh, there's a couple things. First off, I think fantasy is something that's inherent in everybody as something you, you enjoy, whether that be sci-fi, steampunk, or whatever. Um, secondly, I played sports my whole life, um, and everybody always asks, you know, why didn't you do sports games? And you know, my answer is, when you can make a game on the console as tough as the game was in real life, I have interest in playing it. Until then, I have no interest. Um, I play games I like. I want to, and and I, I don't ever want us to make games that we don't want to play ourselves. And it's just. Obviously, with an R.A. Salvatore and a Todd McFarlane, it kind of makes doesn't make a lot of sense to do Angry Birds. Although, you know, that's a great game, but that's not what they do. So, we're, while we're on the subject of those guys, this sort of dream team that you've assembled, talk to us about, you know, what is it about these guys that appeal to you, and how you went about, like, you know, recruiting them onto this project. So, I, well, I mean, clearly, I was looking for the best in the world. I wanted to find guys who were better than anybody else at what they did. I believe those two guys are. Uh, and then Ken, you add Ken Rawlson to the mix, and you've got you've got that dream team. The key to the dream team is that none of them tries to be something that they aren't, including myself. Uh, we know what we bring to the table. We know what value add we can give. And for the most part, it's about us setting this team up to succeed and doing things that we can help to make these kids make it these incredible games and, and the demo that you saw, making them better. How has it been uh, showing your game to the public, this, this baby that you've been working on for so long, finally getting some eyeballs on it? How's that experience been for you? Proud. I am so unbelievably proud of what this team has achieved. I hesitate to say that they've delivered more than I believe they could. Um, I believe they're going to deliver an awesome game. I didn't think it was going to be this awesome. And I know that that doesn't carry a whole lot of weight yet, but I think when people start to see this and play it and understand what it is and what it can be, they're going to realize that they've done something very, very different. Well, Kurt, I know you're a very busy man. I appreciate your time very much. Before I let you go, though, can you let us know when Reckoning uh, is going to be out in stores? I could. Uh, I can only tell you today that it's 2012. Over the next weeks and months, we'll be getting a much more firm date in hand. Um, but right now, it's 2012. All right, Kurt, thanks a lot for your time. Appreciate it. There you guys have it. That's your update on Reckoning. Keep an eye out until 2012.